hope you are doing well welcome in the next tutorial of EMS using flutter in this particular video we will be going to implement firebase authentication in the already given UI so we will be working on this screen login and sign up section we have already set up our firebase connection with flutter application in the previous video so now let's get into it first of all we have to create dart file inside controller and we are going to name it auth underscore controller this is basically our authentication controller of the application all related things of authentication will be go inside this particular file so we have to make a getx controller class auth controller extends getx controller and we have to import get as well there basically we have two options either login or sign up so we have to create two methods over here number first method is login and another is sign up and we have to create firebase auth instance or here now first of all proceed with sign up method here we have to provide two things number first is email number second is password so I'm going to mark this method is taking two parameters one is email and another is password how basically sign up flow works of firebase we have to call auth dot create user with email and password here we have to provide two things email and password email password right the next step is we have to add dot then once our user is created successfully we have to redirect our user toward the profile screen navigate user to profile screen but if it if creating user have error then we will be printing some error logs So guys, these are the flow of sign up. I'm going to create a very empty screen for the profile screen. import material stds profile screen this is nothing just to redirect to somewhere 
and once we are uh, good to go with the authentication process we have to navigate to the profile script get dot to so this for the in case of success and this is for the case of error so we are set it, set it up our sign up method now let's move toward the login we have to call same thing auth dot sign in with email and password and here also we have to expect two things string email and string password and email will go towards email password will go towards the password dot then will be called once we are logged successfully and catch error will called if any error is occurred so <clears throat> if we are logged successfully we will be navigating user to the home screen just demo me home screen for now also let's do same for the create profile also we are using ios simulator so it should be inside safe edu let's navigate it toward the home screen so yeah guys we are done with implementing login and sign up method using getx controller now let's use these information on methods in our front end make sure you are using get material app and inside onboarding we are this is onboarding screen clicking on get it started will navigate us to the login screen and over here we have to create instance of our auth controller so we have to go to the login view how we can create instance of our auth controller is by using init state auth controller controller i'm going to name it art controller and let's mark it late late basically means that this object will be initialized later art equal to get dot put put is basically injecting a dependency in our case our dependency is art control so we are uh, setting up with auth controller now let's utilize this auth controller yeah i have forgot one thing while signing up or login during that time we have to show circular progress indicator instead of login button or sign up button 
for that particular purpose i am going to create observable variable called is loading and initially it is it will be false once we are called login method or sign up method we will be making it true in order to show circular progress indicator this is the way to assign new value to the observable variable once we are done with uh, signing up or creating user we have to make it false same in the case of error so yeah that's it so this is our ui for that particular screen we have default tab controller because we have used two tabs over here then basic text widgets <coughs> i hope you guys can understand the basic layout of the flutter or at least you are comfortable with the front end so in case of sign up there we have sign up widget and login widget so once user click on sign up basically this widget is showing now let's first work on that particular widget we have three text fields one sign up button and other stuff so it is over here one two and three all of them have assigned a controller so this widget is for sign up widget like you guys can see on the screen uh, in this widget i have basically used few of custom widgets custom widget is a widget that we guys can uh, make widget for ourselves to be reusable like in this case text field is one but we are changing uh, their hint and icon so what i have did is i have created my own custom widget uh, under name my text field if i can show it to you so let me show you by pressing command or control and clicking on the widget so yeah this is my widget that i have created it basically consume a container the height of 42 and some text field and it is get uh, it expects few parameters yeah so text icon etc etc so you guys can see this <coughs> this is my custom text field uh, it accept uh, boolean boolean mean uh, either it show the text or not icon and again text and then validator function inside that I have put some validation so if uh, input is empty then warn him that email is required if email is invalid warn him that email is invalid also it expect uh, one another parameter is called controller so basically this is text editing controller associated with one text field right and then few of them uh, <coughs> and after uh, text fields I have created one sign button inside sign up button uh, on pressed uh, if you guys can see i have a call current state dot validate on the form widget let me show you i have used basically a form widget on the whole screen because uh, in this screen uh, all the time what i'm doing is basically validation so i have used form widget and then validations so once user click on sign up it basically check for the validation now let's try to click on sign up yeah you guys can see it is saying email is required then it will show that password is required so this is kind of validation right <coughs> it is done by the help of this particular widget so now let's implement our uh, logic we have already created auth controller and inside auth controller 
we have login method and we have sign up method so let's just call this method by sending email and password <clears throat> all right uh, let me see if i have created controller or not so yeah i have already created <coughs> uh, our getx controller object over here you guys can see dependency and now let's call it from the button so this is sign up widget how we can call it's simple by calling the object auth controller dot sign up so basically sign up is the method that we have created it expect email so we have email in the form of text editing controller uh, guys can see so we have to get it from the controller email controller dot text and yeah make sure every time you get email or password it should be trimmed suppose some keyboard automatically add void space at the end of the characters so it should be avoided by using trim method and then password password controller dot text dot trim so that's it uh, now let's check once uh, it's sign up basically our loading variable get true and then once the user is completely sign up it will uh, make it false and then uh, redirect us to the profile screen uh, now let's do one simple check on the button in the meantime while uh, the process of sign up is in the way so we have to show uh, circular progress indicator we will uh, wrap it with obx because our loading variable is uh, observable type so let's implement a check over here auth controller dot is loading dot value value basically will give us the actual value if it is true then inside center show circular progress indicator right so now let's implement uh, i'm going to give it a dummy email test up at gmail.com and password is one two three four five six now let's try to give it a wrong password one two three one two three when i click on this it is saying warning confirm password is not uh, same as uh, actual password so basically we have implemented few now uh, validation that is why it is not in line so four five six four five six and now let's click on sign up button so you guys can see actually when the sign up is clicked it basically called over here and the login variable get true in case of true it directly you know, listen to the changes yeah guys i got a true value so in case of true it is showing the center progress indicator and in case of false it is basically showing the sign up button <clears throat> so uh, we have created our user if i can show it to you uh, in the firebase okay okay i will show it to you later so once it is done successfully we have navigated user to the profile screen it's an empty screen we will be covering in the next video so stay tuned for this <clears throat> now let's try to give it a restart and let's work on the uh, login widget this was our sign up widget so we have called our sign up process how we can implement login is again very simple a uh, few custom widgets and then for get password it is doing nothing and then our login button so basically or here i think we have to again call our validator like in that case we have called uh, some validation so in the case of login we also have to call validation uh, on the login section let me show you so yeah it is kind of uh, tweaking let me give it a restart
So yeah, in case of login, we have to implement again validation check form key dot current state dot validate. If it is, uh, so we are using null safety, it should be something like this. So if it is validated, we have to negate it. If it is not validated and not is then not becomes true. So we have to return it, right? If it is validated successfully, what we have to do is simply call again to the login method dot login. It again take email. We have to get it from the email controller dot text and dot trim. In case of password, password controller dot text dot trim. <coughs> again, same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, same thing. Let's uh, cut this widget and wrap it with OBX in order to listen to the changes. Here we have to do same thing. Auth controller dot is loading dot value and then inside center called a circular progress indicator. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's this very simple. Uh, now let's try to let's try to see if we can log in successfully or we got any error so in case of error i want to show the same kind of snack bar with error message get dot snack bar title is error inside message e e will be the message that we will be showing what is e E is basically the error that is called to the catch error section. Now, uh, as I have not provided any input, uh, let's try to provide wrong email. Sorry. Wrong email and any password. As I have, it is saying email is invalid. Alright. I think uh, this was our validation function dot gmail.com so yeah it is saying that firebase auth exception is not a subtype of type string <coughs> okay oh yeah, yeah sorry it should be inside string So yeah guys you can see there is no user record corresponding to this login. <coughs> Excuse me. So this was uh, wrong email. Now let's try with correct email. So once the login system is <coughs> successfully done, we will be re redirected towards the home screen. Now let's try by providing valid email. Our uh, valid email was tester at gmail.com and uh, password was 123456. Now, also open the run so you guys can see it logs over here. I'm going to click on login and yeah, all the flow is working and we got redirected to the home screen. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's very simple to login or register user using Firebase and that is why most of the people love firebase uh, thank you so much for uh, looking into the video and i will be grateful if you guys subscribe to the channel and also share this kind of content with your friends uh, in order to help them thank you so much